Anyon hashim na kyerabun chonun yongguk ajishi imnida. Hello everybody. I hope you're having a great day and today I would like to present to you my all new PPT game. This is my Sumiko Garashi reading game. So let's get straight into it. So the first slide here will explain how to change the view size from 4x3 to 16x9. It has English and Korean instructions there. And this game is actually the first one I've made where the font that is needed for this game has been embedded into the PPT. Uh, this particular game uses a font called Mini Waku Waku Maru and it should be showing on the PPT when you open it. If for some reason it doesn't show, I've still given instructions on how you can download and install the font for this game. So let's get to it. Now this game, there's actually two games in one presentation. The first game is suitable for small classes of around probably 8 to 12 students and it has 10 rounds. If you click in the bottom left hand corner, skip to 20 version, this will take you to a bigger game, which will work more well for medium and bigger classes. Anyway, I'm gonna click on back to 10 version. So go ahead and make the game for whatever size class you have, and you can just delete out the parts of the game that are not needed. So in this template, I have put numbers around the corners of each of the different uh, words or sentences that the students will be able to read. Um, personally, I find this very useful because there will always be some students who may find reading more difficult. So what you can do is you can help them by choosing a number and then a system to read the word or the sentence together. So the main game here, this is the title slide, and the most important thing about this game is explaining how to play. So if you've never used one of these games before, I will explain how you can use this game to play this game uh, effectively and usefully. So very simply, everybody in the classroom is going to stand up. And after that, each student is able to choose uh, a word or a sentence that you have made with the template and they should choose that word or sentence and then read it out aloud. And once they've done that, you can click on the box and then it's gonna reveal some characters here. So this one, for example, is stand up. Continue to stand up. Don't sit down, just stay standing up. I put instructions in English and also in Korean there. If you're working with a different language, you can explain it in that language. And here's another one. Let's read again. I am Tokage. Click on this one. And if you get the uh, two crying cats and the crying tonkatsu in the middle there, then that student should sit down. They are now out of the game. However, let's read again. Uh, I am Penguin. This one here, um, the student who has read this sentence or word they continue standing, but they have a chance to choose another student to stand up again. So they can choose one of their friends or somebody that they feel deserves to be back in the game. So even if a student sits down, they are able to come back into the game later on. Good. So let's play. I'll just explain this a little bit more. So here's the first uh, round. As you can see, this is a template. If I exit out of the PPT here, and um, what I can do is I can write um, whatever I like in here. So let's just think of something to write, for example, like uh, what's this? Uh, students can choose to read these um, sentences. What's this? It's an uh, apple. So what I tend to do is whatever source material I'm working with, I will make the keywords or sentences for that particular lesson. So when you open up the template like this, you know, now you've got your extra words in there. So choose a place to start. 
choose a student at the front of the class or choose a student at the back and then work your way around from front to back, clockwise, anti-clockwise. Um, just choose a direction at the start of the game. And each student will read a word or a sentence and then you just click and then like this, whether they will stand up or be standing up again or be sitting down. So in the first round on this game, I've put Korean instructions in and it helps to get the game going. It gets the idea, okay, right, I've got to sit down, you've got to stay standing up or you're going to choose another student to stand up again. And then after that first round, there's no Korean instructions after that. So what you do is you just keep going through these rounds and there are 10 rounds. So I have calculated that by round 10, you can see it comes up final round in the slide here. Uh, by round 10, this should get you down to just one student if you have 10 students, around 10 students in the class. Um, some people like to play it so that the last two standing are the winners or the last three. Um, I tend just to get it right down to one person. So the final round has a lot of uh, sit downs and then that should finish the game. And that's it, that's the end. So that's the end of the game. Thanks for playing, <laughs> thanks for watching. And uh, there's a black slide there. And then after that, there's the 20 students version. So that's it. I mean, it's really quite simple, really. Uh, the nice thing about this game is it's very quick to make. All you need to do is decide your keywords or expressions and then write the words into the template and um, like I said, it's very quick to make that way. So it can save you a lot of time. And um, it's also very fun. Most students uh, tend to enjoy this game. Although some students who find reading difficult may not enjoy it so much. So that's why it's really key to use those numbers and support um, low level students who need that help. Anyway, that is about it. Uh, many, many thanks for everyone's support on this channel. Um, suddenly gone over 300 subscribers very quickly and if you have any questions uh, leave a question in the comments if you have any um, advice or ideas or things you dislike uh, just please be honest and tell me so anyway thanks very much for watching have a great week and if you're a teacher always enjoy your teaching take care bye bye